and it looks like he's going to make a move for this one. So this is wave number five, and he hasn't got a score over three, but I think that's about to change as he finds a long barrel sets up this inside now for some big turns. Big wrap rail carve, draws it right down into the bowl, and now starts to look for opportunities to hammer the lip. Gets that board up for the finishing floater. Gabriel Medina officially back on tour and ready to just really rattle the cages of everybody in the world. To have Medina back um, at this point in the tour, I think that's sending some chills through uh, the spines of a lot of the, the competitors. The storm is continuing to brew. Streaks down the line straight into the barrel. Fair to say that uh, Medina's back. Gabrielle's looking really comfortable, you know, coming off a, a bit of time. He looks super tuned in. Into a lofty frontside float. Hard off the bottom, nice jam there. Medina, solid victory there. Yeah, it feels good to make it through, you know. Um, I'm excited for that one. Did go and take some downtime as we see a couple of nice sets coming through. And now Gabriel Medina, fresh off the Red Bull ski, into a lofty frontside float. Hard off the bottom, nice jam there. Great start for Gabriel. Layback, down carve, right into a climb. Now fades it back into the power source. Great start and a ton of room on this wave for Medina. Nice patience on the connection off the lip. Winding up, throw tail reverse. He'll sneak that one in over the shallow reef. Bang, a great wave comes through and here we go again. Four seconds to go, Medina. Beats a section off the roof, hammers it. Tons of spray to the sky, belts it again. This will be a victory lap as he slides the tail into a wrapping turn. And now launching himself, freestyling over the reef like he's surfing a fun little soft sandy beach break. He's not afraid of that shallow section. Still floating. Medina might just take us to break. Solid victory there and heat number two is Kolohe is knocked out in the round of 16. Mark, Ron, I think the, the judges will show a little bit of restraint. And here goes Gabs. Medina looking for an answer now. Big wall stands up, goes oh. to that grab rail car. Beautiful stuff to get things going. And then kicks on the tail. Plenty of power in that second move. As he now grinds through a snap. Lots of variation on show here already. As he goes hammering down the line. Just finds a bit of release there. Probably didn't tee off the way he would have liked, but he's still going and has more opportunities here to lay that board over. The three-time world champ finishes that one off with a click of the fingers. He had the speed, he had the line. Looked like there was a few bumps there and Medina's gonna swoop on this wave down the line. Couple of sections, already bit of foam on the face, lining up something big to finish. And he's gonna stick that end section hit. Here we go, Gabby, little tube time. And just blast all up. It was full fireworks and it came right down to the wire. Gabriel Medina coming off the lip to start. Another beautiful flow into the flats. Perfect transition. We'll see what happens on this effort. Gabriel Medina will take it with priority. Coming off the lip to start. Another beautiful flow into the flats. Perfect transition. Open face hook right on the money. And now we'll get to this inside half. Gabriel Medina is back. After showing up in G-Land for the first time this year, the three-time world champion has landed in Central America. Gabriel Medina, his next tattoo should be a monster. Is that guy. Medina just sliced that Punta Roca right up into pieces. It's gonna look fun from, from outside, but uh, out there, it's, it's kind of hard to serve. With another commanding performance, and here he goes again. Good looking wave. Oh, <laughs> late foam clad. Why not combo it up with the tail throw? Flows through that section right there. Again, up in the white water, flicking it right through the lip. Gabe Medina just showing so much board control. Now he gets onto the open face. Rapid fire snaps on the backhand. Great tempo, Ooh. great power, great technique. And Medina just sliced that Punta Roca right up into pieces. Passing that drifting broken board is Gabriel Medina. Throwing a nice clean backhand hack. Incredibly glassy conditions. <laughs> Belting it again. Slams that one right in the lip. Running after some open faces. Medina squares up vertically. Big connection there. 
lively backhand float and smashes the oncoming section. We're gonna keep going, you know, that's that's what we live for and it's that's why it's fun. And I think in their situation, I know they're still decent friends, but there's still a little thoughts in the back of your mind, Kaipo, where you want to beat them. Medina goes high, spins it around, lands on the roof, and is going to continue down the line. A couple of hits there for Gabe Medina, just glued to his board. <laughs> and he's saying to the judges, pay me off with a score, because that was an incredible. How comparable it is to the 8.5 of Grifto. But here's your chance, the replay of Gabe Medina. So goes for the air on the outside, sticks it well, too. So a major maneuver. Then just sets it up here for the inside. It gets racy in the midsection. A great way to start comboing it up here in the mid part of this wave. But as you see right there, it's racy for the goofy footers. It gets super quick, beautiful floater, and then a fantastic finish. This is an arena unlike any other in surfing. Passion, rhythm, and energy define Brazil in the Coliseum of Sacarema. This is what Medina did on his start. Well, this was somebody uh, that has got this crowd lighting up in that turn right there. The big layback snap as he looks in at the beach. And he is vibing off that crowd. He is one that knows how to tap into that energy.